session we will discuss about the http request and response in power automate microsoft has introduced a new feature so that you can define the permission access for http request okay so let us create some flow and see how it is done so let us create a uh, automated cloud flow so that we can create a uh, power automate with a request trigger so click on this skip and define a name so I want to give a name here. Let's say new email component. Okay. And source the trigger as request. When you source the request, you will find the request connector and choose here when a HTTP request is received. And this is newly introduced to who can trigger the flow, right? If we use uh, this option, you have three options any user in my tenant, and uh, that means any employee that are part of your current tenant irrespective of environments specific user means uh, you have to define the specific email ids or uh, user ids for that user who can trigger this request uh, trigger anyone means anyone irrespective of organization so let us choose any user in my tenant and here define a schema i want to define a schema like this let's say to email and I have already copied the I have already the session with me so I can copy this so this is the email ID I want to use this is the session so to email subject and body right so I want to define some sample here to so JSON will contain three properties and it will generate the schema for you now what the power automate will do it will just send an email with taking the value of two email subject and uh, body so click on add new step and send email now here you can define the outlook and you can use send email and define the dynamic content so search two email this is from previous step and subject subject is also from previous step and email body also there from previous step now i can save it once you save it the url of this web api http request will be generated which we can call from another flow uh, to send a request to this web api endpoint so when you create a trigger with http request received it creates an endpoint for you this is the url you can copy you can store this somewhere Okay. and this url will be used while calling this flow now go back and create another flow to call it so i want to use a automated trigger and which will run on create of on create of a new record in an entity Okay, so I want to use new and it's an emailer and define a trigger called as dataverse. And in the dataverse, I want to take when a new row is added and choose the change type as added. And table name, I want to take the table name is medicine. This is the table name and scope I can take organization now next time in the next step i want to add http uh, connector to the http and select the http and here you have to use the method what is the method the method is post because i want to post some uh, request to the endpoint now the endpoint is available with us so i can take the endpoint here and put it in the uri right in the body i want to mention i want to pass the json information so let me copy this and send information dynamically okay so i want to send this to this email and the subject i want to take is given is a new medicine is created okay and body I want to pass you have to 
approve it okay so this is the information i want to pass now as because the request uh, trigger in the second flow we have written for anyone from my tenant we have to define the authentication the authentication would be active directory authentication where the authority uh, can be blank and tenant should be the tenant id so you have to go to azure microsoft.com and in the active directory you have to uh, create a new app registration which will generate the tenant id so let me create a new application here so click on microsoft intra id here i can navigate to the app registrations and I click on new registration here i can give a name let's say i want to give uh, flow app okay and click on register now this is the app that is created i can copy now the tenant id copy this and put it in your flow and audience audience would be the flow url so this url you need to use okay so this is the audience service flow.microsoft.com client id you can copy from here and client secret you have to create a secret for this app click on new and new client secret you can give a name and it will generate the secret you can copy the value and put it in the secret the next thing is we have to provide proper permission to this regist app registration so go to app registration app permission and click on add and choose the power automate so if you scroll down you will find power automate this one so select this click on delegated permission user and click on add permission now you have to grant admin consent and click yes so this is the step we need to uh, follow so that it will be uh, working fine okay now save it now you can test this right so let me create a new uh, record in the entity and see if it is working fine or not click on test and click man click manually and click on test now i can go and create a new record which will trigger the flow i can use test for this and manufacturer i can choose and click on save now the power automate should run which will call the second flow by sending a http request now you see <coughs> we received a http call right it sent successfully and the child flow is also executed and i i would have received an email uh, with that you see this one the medicine is created and you have to approve it right so this is the sample uh, use case or demo where you have created a reusable power automate flow with request trigger and from any power automate you can call that power automate by sending a json object request uh, information and that url you can pass right so this this is how you can um, create a request trigger with uh, uh, secure sec with security that only the users from your tenant can call uh, and uh, you can check that so here you can you have the request object uh, request trigger and you have defined the security here that who can trigger this flow so as because i have created a application in the app registration with proper uh, permission so that it was success i hope you understand how it works thanks everyone